Hey everyone, it's Ali Lindley here from One Number. And today I wanted to talk to you why you might be experiencing some difficulties trying to connect to, join, or relate to a Tableau published data source. So what exactly is this? Well, a published data source means that your data source has been saved or uploaded to Tableau Server, Tableau Cloud, and you have now connected to that data source. Why might you want to do this? Well, for a couple of reasons. One, you've got integrity, right? You've got you're preserving data integrity. You're making sure that data is your source of truth for all data. You go and connect to your uh, data source on Tableau Cloud or Tableau Server. You've got the right data. Secondly, it's up to date. So your data team can go and update that. You can schedule automatic refreshes. Your published data source is going to be up to date. Sometimes it can increase performance, meaning you're not trying to pull down all that information from the server itself. And lastly, it allows governance, right? So you're able to say, um, we can authorize who's connecting to our data. You've got to have actual credentials to log in and to view your data. So that's always helpful to do. So where is it? Well, you probably connected to it here, something like this. Um, and this is, you know, this is where we found it on our Tableau Cloud page. But when you bring it into Tableau, why are you struggling to actually join or relate to that data? Well, the key is to think of your published data source like a PDF, right? So when I think about a PDF, it's a document, but the purpose of that document is primarily for viewing the document and sharing the document, right? You make all the edits in your text editor like Word, so you can copy and paste paragraphs and move things around. But when that PDF gets shared, the editing is done and all people are doing are viewing it and sharing it. That's what a published data source is. So all the editing is done and then you're publishing it, right? Like a PDF up to your Tableau cloud or your Tableau server, and you're going to connect to it from there. So what are your options? If you have to use a published data source, what can you do? Well, you can try and blend. Okay. So what exactly is a blend? Well, a blend is a very old way of connecting two data sources together. We actually have a webinar on blending that we ran a couple of years ago and not much has changed in blending since then. So I still highly recommend you taking a look at that uh, webinar if you're going to be dealing with blends. The idea is you have two data sources that you've connected to. So you'd connect like this. We've got data source one and two. This is our published data source and I've dragged state and province out from it. And now I click over to the second one, Sample Superstore, and I go and grab the second data source, uh, sorry, a field from the second data source and drop it in. However, you might experience limitations with blends and they are innumerable. However, some that I can point out off the top of my head would be blends require you to use a left join with this first data source that we connected to being the uh, you know, the home table and this being the secondary one. Uh, you've got to have aggregated data in your secondary data source. Um, it's your calculated fields are going to be really difficult to work with. You'll often run into issues there for, you know, multiple reasons. So blending is not necessarily the, the best option. This is really like a worst case scenario. And the reason why, uh, so just to unpack the joins and relationships, what I wanted to show you here is it really doesn't matter which way you try and connect, right? So if you've got your published data source here and then you go through to this data source page, you'll notice that I'm connected to our demo data source. So it's the same one. And all Tableau is doing here is it's just giving me an overview of what this data source looks like, what tables are in this data source. You can see I've got a live connection, but there's actually no way to add a connection, right? I can swap the data source but there's no way to add a connection. So we could say, okay, let's go back to, you know, to where we were and let's swap this order around. So let's say we start with a sample superstore data source. So this is not the, the published data source. I go back to my uh, data source page. I add a connection. Let's go to Tableau server. Now I'm pretty sure this is called uh, something to do with YouTube. So let's search for that. And you see, there's nothing here. So Tableau saying, well, there's not even an option to connect for something, uh, you know, for that particular file. So you actually can't set up the connections that way. So what can you do? Well, my preferred example 
or my preferred solution is to do all your data prep before you publish it as a published data source. So the, the whole purpose of the published data source is that you can't make changes to the data. It's been done, right? So they're trying to make sure all the data stays safe, secure, unedited, unchanged. So it would kind of be undoing all of those features if, we, if uh, Tableau allowed a whole bunch of changes there. So do the data prep before. Now, I think Tableau Prep is your best friend here. And my suggestion would be, if you wanna learn more about Tableau Prep, come and take our Tableau Prep class. We've got one or two coming up this winter and Eric is a Tableau Prep whiz. And I don't think you'll find a better resource on Tableau Prep than Eric. And I get to say that because, <laughs> you know, he's, he's taking those classes and not me. So I really do think that's a fantastic option. However, there are two limitations. One would be not everyone has access to Tableau Prep, right? So you need a, a, an additional license. And the second thing is in order to get the automations that you might want, um, there's a slight add-on, so that can be a limitation too. I guess the other way of thinking about this data prep situation is explain what the published data source is to your data team if you're limited like that. You know, explain to them what the limitations are, how you need the data changed, what availability you need in terms of the data. You could try and use an extract as well. So you extract the data and sometimes you can make changes that way. However, there might be some other limitations and issues that you run into, which probably is beyond the scope of this video. So if this has been a frustration for you in the past, feel free to let us know. And if you've got creative solutions of how you worked around the limitations of a published data source, we'd love to know too. This is a common thing that we run into working with Tableau. And uh, while it's got great benefits, it can be infuriating if you're just trying to make a small change and now you've got to you know, go all the way back upstream and find where that data is. So I hope this has been helpful. We'll pop those links in the description. Uh, feel free to let us know if you've got any questions. And if you want us to tackle anything else, let us know too. We'd love your suggestions. Awesome. Keep well. See you next time.